This weekend, prepare to ride the Red Zone Prowler presents the Jack Joaquin Section Playoff Championships at Power Mile Pavilion. Featuring our favorite players, Caleb King, Jarvis Watkins, Isaiah Ellis, and Gabe Bueller. Tickets are just eight bucks. Tickets available at Power Mile Pavilion. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. The game starts at 4.30. Come out and show your Titan pride. Good morning, Titans. Today we have all your news, including Wednesday's basketball game at Power Bounce Pavilion. We'll tell you the final results from the blood drive. And Principal John Becker isn't the only one who's happy that WASC is over. All of this and much more starts right now. Only on your Channel 5 Titan, Titan TV, TV News. news. Today is Friday, March 2nd. I'm Janae Mims. And I'm Matt Howell. Janae, I saw your Power Bound Civilian on Wednesday. I saw you too, Matt. That game was so much fun. I can't believe we won. I know, Janae. I had a blast. You know, I tried sitting by you. Oh, well, you're sitting by me now, Matt. Wow, whatever, Janae. I'm sorry, Matt. I was having a blast in the red zone. Well, I'll be looking forward to seeing you there on Saturday then. Okay, let's get on with the show. We have lots of news for you. Don't forget, today is Club Photo Day. Check the schedules posted around campus or in the bulletin and report to CTE 6 at the scheduled time for your club. The varsity boys basketball team traveled to Power Bounce Pavilion on Wednesday and took on the Bella Vista Broncos. After a hard-fought game, the Titans came out on top. Reporters Matt Hoffman and Julian Perez filed this story on Wednesday. After defeating Bella Vista at Power Balance Pavilion on Wednesday night, the top seeded boys varsity basketball team will face number seven Lodi in the championship game of the Sac Joaquin Section Division II playoffs at Power Balance Pavilion. It will be the Titans' second consecutive trip to the title game after losing to St. Mary's of Stockton last season. It's done now. Oh, we've, we've had the, the unwritten motto for the whole year has been unfinished business. And everything we did has been about getting to Saturday. You know, everything preseason is great, the tournaments are great, the league is great, first night, second night, tonight. But all of that is to the body of work that we really feel like, you know, we left something on the floor last year, our first time out there, and we're playing with a, a composure and a purpose of, of finishing that business off. The Titans advanced to Saturday's game by defeating Bella Vista by a score of 55-49, to with the help of stellar effort by junior Isaiah Ellis. Ellis scored 18 points, pulled down 10 rebounds, blocked five shots, and scored several key baskets. Um, me personally, I, did, I think I did good. Uh, great game, played aggressive, got my shots. So, yeah. As a team, uh, we did good. We pushed the ball, uh, ran it, uh, played fast-paced, ran the ball, didn't stop, and never gave up. So, as a team, I think we did good. He's really, really come into his own of understanding that he is now capable, even as just a junior. He's still figuring out that he has just figured out that he can take over a game at both ends. I'm going to be curious to see how many boards and how many blocks he finished with. Because uh, the number of times he just alters shots, uh, steps in, takes charges, didn't get the calls tonight, but, you know, he plays fantastic defense. As the Titans have done throughout the season, they did not rely on any one player against the Broncos on Wednesday. Three key things to victory were... Uh, Getting out early and being aggressive, getting to the rim and uh, kind of putting them back on their heels a little bit. Second thing was definitely our, uh, our defense in the second and third quarters, really kind of shutting them down, pushing the lead up a little bit. And then uh, veteran leadership, you know, coming down the back stretch those last three and a half, four minutes, not having turnovers, hitting free throws, running our stuff uh, to get baskets to close this game out against a very good Bella Vista team. Senior Jarvis Watkins scored 10 points, junior Gabe Beeler had 7 points and 8 rebounds, and senior Caleb King scored 9 points, including a key layup and free throw at the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, pushing the ball led to our victory. You know, great defense, too. We came out strong first quarter, and uh, we just, you know, just kept doing what we were doing, just running them up and down. And Isaiah had a big night. He was, he was unstoppable in the paint, and, uh, yeah, that's what led to our victory. In Saturday's game against Lodi, the Titans will try to continue to push the ball up the court. 
taking advantage of their athleticism as they did against Bella Vista. Win means for the Titans. We get to play at least one more on Saturday here, and we're guaranteed at least a home game next week for NorCal. So, uh, you know, the red zone, hope you rest your voices up because you got one more this weekend here, and the way it's looking, we should have at least one home game next week where we need it extra loud. Several teams played at Power Balance Pavilion on Wednesday night, and the red zone had the loudest crowd. That's the expectation again for Saturday's game. I, I, I love the red zone, Mrs. Patton, and what she does, my support for Mr. Becker. That whole school, it is just, I walked onto campus today and there were banners and balloons and signs. Kids had gotten up at 6 a.m. driving around with helium tanks and putting banners up, signs for every single player on the varsity squad. They walk in the classroom, there's a sign there. It, it's just one giant, fantastic community that I, can, I, I cannot be proud to be a part of. I'll be at Power Balance Pavilion on Saturday at 4.30. Hope to see you there, too. Reporting for your Channel 5 Titan TV News, I'm Matt Hoffman. It's hosting Pennies for Patients. You can donate pennies or any amount of money in your second period classes starting Monday. All of the money raised will benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We caught up with sophomore Kyle Kloffenstein to get more information about the upcoming fundraiser. Patients, it's a funder, it's like not really a fundraiser, but it raises money for research for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And our goal for as a school this year is to raise twelve hundred dollars, and that's ve that's very much obtainable because we have seventeen hundred students coming to our school. And so, if everybody in our school brings one dollar, we'll beat our goal right there. And the campaign starts March fifth to and it ends March twenty third. And um, the first week is going to be a third period competition. The second week is going to be a staff versus students competition. And the third and final week is going to be another third period competition. And the third period that raises the most money will get a pizza party. As you may have noticed, the WASP committee was on campus this week. They evaluated our school and complied a final report. Reporters Matt Hoffman and Julian Perez had a chance to sit down with Principal John Becker to find out how he thought the WASP visit went. Uh, the WASC process and visit uh, went really good. Um, we got the accreditation we were looking for, or at least we got a hint of the accreditation we were looking for, but we were very pleased. Uh, they were very happy with our self-study report. They loved our kids. They loved our staff. And uh, overall, it was a very successful experience for us. Did you give blood last week? Last week, the blood drive was held in the small gym. There was a huge turnout, as many students decided to help others and donate blood. Want to know the blood drive results? Reporter Marcus Grimaldi sm spoke with blood drive coordinator Miss Annie Clegg. We registered 195 donors and of that 90 of them were brand new donors and we collected the most blood we've ever collected and we collected 151 pints of blood. And it would have been more if we did not have a fire drill which we which caused us to lose nine pints of blood. So we would have broke 160. But I hope next year um, everything runs smoothly and we break our number again. Midterm finals are next week, Thursday and Friday. That means it's time for Coco and Cram. Coco and Cram is on Wednesday in the multi-purpose room from 6 to 8 p.m. Reporter Janae Mims talked to Yulia Yakubowski about the upcoming event. Hey Titans, next week we have midterms for the spring term. On Wednesday, student government is hosting Coco and Cram from 6 to 8. So come on out and study for your midterms with the help of other students and teachers while you get to snack on some great cookies and hot cocoa. Hope to see you there. The competition cheer team will be traveling to Los Angeles for the UCA Nationals on Saturday where they hope to take home first place and another trophy for the Antelope Titans. Reporter Brooke Carrick had a chance to go to one of the competition cheer practices and spoke to coach Miss Regina Kahn about Saturday's competition. Last year uh, it was a new division and despite some of the mistakes they made, Antelope won this division last year. So they are going back for a back-to-back -back championship. Um, in the summertime they had 6 a.m. practices. They did conditioning, strength and flexibility. Um, they ran for lots of miles during the summer to build up their stamina. And then when they practiced anywhere from two to three days a week, um, Monday, Wednesday, sometimes Fridays, depended on when the competitions were, anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours a night. I expect them to win again this year. Uh, they started sooner practicing. They've worked harder. Um, they're more experienced this year, so I expect them to come back West Coast champions again this year.
Matt, are you going to the game tomorrow? I wouldn't miss another chance to go to Power Balance Pavilion, Janae. I'm pumped. I hope the red zone will be even bigger tomorrow. Oh, it will. And we're going to smash Lodi. Definitely. Well, that's all we have for today, Titan. Don't forget to tune in next week for the Wednesday show. Have a wonderful day. And a great weekend. See you here next week. Only on your Channel, Channel 5, 5 Titan, Titan TV, TV News. News. Bye. Bye. This weekend, prepare to allow the Red Zone Prowler presents the Stack Walking Section Playoff Championships at Power Mouth Pavilion. Featuring our favorite players, Caleb King, Jarvis Watkins, Isaiah Ellis, and Gabe Bueller. Tickets are just eight bucks. Tickets available at Power Mouth Pavilion. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. The game starts at 4.30. Come out and show your Titan pride.